was referring to a decision I'd already made. So it's not a new matter. Proceed, Honorable Pasaris. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, Madam Speaker, I'm, I'm, um, <laughs> Madam Speaker, I'm uh, standing here. Sorry for the distraction. Can can you please stop shouting point of order? I want to contribute. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't even spoken. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker, uh, for the opportunity to contribute to the State of the Nation address by His Excellency President. Uh, Madam Speaker, I need some protection here because I keep speaking and he keeps saying point of order, so I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, okay, so um, I want to contribute to um, the motion. I want to... Con Honorable Pasaris, ignore him and address... Madam speaker. speaker, I suffer from OCD and the problem is he's right next to me so he's really distracting me. Please, can you wait until I finish and then... Don't address him, address the chair. Uh, through the chair. Through the chair. Um, okay, Madam you're Speaker. You're losing your time. Madam Speaker, um, I take this opportunity to to speak to the State of the Nation address by His Excellency President William Ruto. And I have to say that the first thing that caught my attention is the respect that the President gave to the August House by calling us distinguished members, uh, democratically elected. And also, I have to take note of the fact that every time we have a function where the President is, he gives utmost respect to elected members, which I never saw in my last tenure in uh, Parliament. So I have to commend him for that. That puts us in a relationship where we can actually respect each other and work together. The President talked many, many times, mentioned the word national values in his uh, speech, and I think we need to really have the national values of our country defined because that is something that uh, uh, once we understand what our national values are, then as citizens and leaders we should be able to move forward. And our national values are enshrined in our constitution and they are also enshrined in our national anthem. But I think we have forgotten our national uh, values and the reason why I, I say that is because sometimes when I take a drive on the highway and I see the street lights that have been put by the various uh, bodies that uh, put, uh, put uh, street lights on our roads and I see that uh, the street lights with solar have all been stolen on the highway, I feel that somewhere along the line we have no respect for the things that we, we, the investments that we make to get this country to become progressive. So I feel that we need to do a lot of work in defining our national values to the people. Uh, he talked about dignity and dreams, restoring the dignity of our citizens and the ability to dream. He talked about the challenges and he did not shy away from telling us that we do as a nation have a lot of challenges and we were in a deep hole and we need to get out of those challenges. And uh, as a result of us working together, we'll be able to share the prosperity that was envisioned by our forefathers and the prosperity that he hopes to achieve uh, for the nation of Kenya. Uh, Honorable speaker, uh, uh, Madam Speaker, this week we have seen the return of David Cameron to um, uh, as foreign US for uh, UK Foreign Secretary. He was a former Prime Minister and he has actually been put into the government again. And when he was uh, speaking in an interview today on CNN, he actually said that um, as a public servant, he is looking forward to coming back at such a time as this 